So knowledge representation uh, turns out to be uh, quite big because um, it, it involves um, the ways in which we represent information and ideas in language, but it also can include the way we represent information in figures. It's the way that um, ideas are connected, where they, where they come from, what their origins are. Also, uh, it, it even includes uh, you know, studies of, uh, of what happens when knowledge becomes obsolete. Um, so knowledge organization and knowledge representation um, is an area uh, that overlaps strongly with the mining of scientific publications because that's what's happening on a daily basis. We're, we're seeing sort of um, new um, uh, ways of conveying information, new knowledge itself is, 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 is birthing uh, on a daily basis. And so um, the field itself works on ways to understand, first of all, what knowledge is, how do we know what we know, so epistemology kind of work, and then also um, the tools for, for, um, for extracting that information and then representing it so that other scholars can navigate through this you know, really complicated um, set of, of information objects.